Hi everybody, Martin the Flicking Feathers again today. I'm tying a salmon fly for you. This is the Comet. Um, it's a it's an older style tube fly, a bit less popular now than they used to be because you know, a lot of folk are fishing with the Scandi style flies when it comes to these. Uh, just adjust that. These uh, bigger flies now, but they still catch fish and they're worth having. As always, I'll put a materials list in the description along with a link to the Patreon page for anyone who wants to support the channel, get access to the members only content, and be eligible for the fly giveaways. So I've got in the vise. A one inch copper tube. You can obviously use a different size if you want, bigger or smaller. And about halfway, well, no halfway, it's about the two thirds mark, which will be about half of the body. I've started some fluorescent fire orange thread. I'm just going to catch in some small silver tinsel oval. But take that back until I'm just at the point. Got about four or five mil there from the back of the tube, and that's where the hook tubing can come to. And then I'm just going to come in and put on a tag with this tinsel. See, three or four tons is fine. Bend that across, just tie everything down. And you can tidy up these two bits of tinsel. Now we're ready for the first tie a bucktail, and this has got to be yellow. Slightly shorter here, that's not far big. Now, I think part of the reason these flies kind of became less popular is a lot of folks say they don't swim as swim that well compared to a temple dog, um, which is true to an extent, but a lot of them are. A lot of the flies that don't swim, they're grossly overdressed, which is part of it as well. Um, you don't want a huge amount of hair. If you, you see there, you can see the tube in that th sort of through the that stack of hair there. Um, it's no a big heavy bunch. Now I want the bulk of the. Wing, like there might be a couple of, sort of slightly longer fibres, but I want the bulk of it to be the length of the tube off the back. Right? So I want that much behind the tube. Which is nice, this puts the hook right in the middle of the fly. I just took a, a loose gathering wrap, and what you can actually do is you can back it off and just if you back it off a couple of times and go back and just let the hair sort of move, it will naturally migrate around the, the tube. And you can grab it, tie it back until you're hard against that tinsel and it will sort of flare the bucktail. And that's nice. Just check, it's always worth checking this just to make sure. And then Cut this where my thread is, just behind it. Turn that way. Now, before I tidy this up, I'm just going to take another length of the silver oval, catch it in. We've already secured that. Tightly, and then as I got to tidy up, we'll just lock it in place. Get out of the 
of it. Now, the rear half of the body, I'm using red floss. This is a fluorescent red I'm using, but you can use a darker red if you want. Um, a lot of folk will tie just like a standard red floss over a black thread um, when they're tying these, but I like the slightly the brighter <coughs> the brighter effect you get with the fluorescent and the over the brighter thread. So I'm just going to wind this forward. Oops. Building a smooth body. Right, stop here. Catch that in. Lock it off. No waste away. And then I'll change the black thread. Tie over both of them. Trim them away. And I'll come back. Now, see that might look a bit short but you've got to allow your head length and the space for tying in the wing so I'm going to come back to there right, and that will give me the time I've tied my rib the middle wing the front half of the body will be much the same as the rear so I'm going to take a full turn of this silver tinsel at the back and I'm going to come up and say three more turns to hit that and a full turn, crush your thread. So I'm just taking a full straight turn there in front of the front of the body. Just lock that away. You don't need to be super tidy at this stage. Then we'll come in with some. Red bucktail. This is fluorescent red. And I'm just going to sort of put the longest ones and slightly realign them. Right, don't never put your bucktail in a stacker. Right, just you can align them behind like this, and it's still no perfectly even. That gives you it might not look as neat to some people's eyes, but it gives you a much better fishing fly. Length I want this basically the same length as the yellow. I'm just going to do the same thing, I'm just going to catch that with a kind of gathering wrap and then back it off and just let it. Let the thread pressure repeatedly it will move and work its way around. You're, you can help it a wee bit if you need to. And you've got full coverage. Grab it. Tighten down again, tie right back to that tinsel. As before, grab the silver oval, catch that in. Trim everything back, leave yourself plenty of space. And then we'll catch in my black floss as well. This black floss I'm using is actually Semperfly, but I'm not that keen on it. Um, I 
picked some up to try, but I'll go back to the uni. Uh, the uni's a bit shinier than this, and it's easier to see against your thread. Get all that covered up, and you can see I've still left myself a fair bit of space. I've got about four mil there to the end of the tube, which will allow me to tie off and tie the floss and get tie off the head. Now, same as before, I'm just winding this floss forward, and I want it to be the same length as. the red, which is probably about there. So I'll take an extra two turns or so to allow I'll take one mil. That's right. And that'll allow for everything but the tying off, getting the wing in. ribbon and everything. Sometimes that happens. These the tubes will just loosen but don't worry about it as long as you don't lose everything. Come up one, two, three, and then your fourth one's a full one. Crochet thread. Catch that in. Turn that away. And I'm going to put a wee half hitch in here. Um, Because we're getting towards the end of the tube, and it just it helps in case your thread slips off the edge. I mean, if you're tying in the right amount of hair, it shouldn't really, but it can happen. So I'm getting some black bucktail now. Come on. And again. As I said earlier, you don't need too much, right? Um, the, fly, the fly will swim better if you've got a sparser amount of hair. I'm just cleaning out any shorter hairs here. And I want this coming to the back again, right? So the black's the longest here. Some people have even seen they like the black that wee bit longer or a wee bit shorter. I like it just to sort of come to the back. And much the same. Make sure it's spread. You don't need to be this fussy. Um, as long as it's around there. But that's nice. Two or three wraps and I'll come in with the scissors. I'll make sure everything's behind the tube. Now you don't want any bits of here sticking forward to the front of the tube. Yeah, 
as long as it's non front you can get a nice tidy head and if you want for a bit of security before you really completely enclose the butts you can put a wee light coat of super glue on your thread take it right to the front this will also help prevent any slippage of the thread and that will help you build a nice neat head and make sure the the hair's incredibly secure and then it's just a case of whip finishing step my hand and the fly is done just needs a wee bit of varnish two or three coats of varnish is fine you'll get a nice shiny head because that super glue's in there already and that's it the comet as I say a bit of an older fly than is maybe less fashionable than it used to be but still catches plenty of fish um, you know these flies they go out of fashion but the fish don't care so hope that was useful hope you enjoyed it if you did please uh, give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel Pet lines guys bye